What's up everyone? Welcome to 5280 Brews and Barbecue. Today we are making some bacon tallow beer ribs. We're going to be doing this on the offset smoker set to smoke for about six hours at 250. You can go ahead and get started by patting the ribs dry and removing the silver skin. If you're not too sure how to do this, slide a knife along a bone and then take a paper towel and pull on that silver skin and it should come right off. Now today for a rub, we are keeping this super simple, you guys. I am just simply using Pam as a binder because I really want that bacon, tallow, and beer flavors to shine through. So we are keeping this simple with some Pam as a binder, and then we are just gonna be using some garlic, salt, and pepper on the tops of these. So that way we can get a little more pork flavor. Now, if you're using an offset smoker, make sure to have this thing rolling before you even season up these ribs. The offset smoker right now is sitting right around 250 on average. We're using the Inkbird Pro with two thermostats on the inside of the smoker to go ahead and measure the ambient temps. The reason we're using the Inkbird is because as you can see, the offset smoker thermostat is off by quite a bit and we want to read the temperatures sitting directly above those ribs two hours in and these ribs are looking good the seasoning is nice and tacked up we want to go ahead and get this bacon fat on the smoker go ahead and pour about half a bottle of bacon fat into a small pan even though this is rendered down we want this to be a fine liquid as of right now it's a little chunky so we want to go ahead smoke this render it down but be sure to save half a bottle for later when we are wrapping these in butcher paper now as we wait we hydrate just kidding yep well but seriously we are but anyways go ahead and pour some beer inside of your spray bottle and we're going to go ahead and start spraying these down every 30 minutes now three hours in you guys these ribs are looking freaking awesome we do want them just a little bit darker though we're going to continue to smoke these for at least one more hour but do not forget to go ahead and rotate your ribs around no matter what kind of smoker you're using just to make sure that you get a nice even cook across all of your ribs in now these ribs you guys are ready to pull and they are looking amazing now we're gonna go ahead and wrap these ribs in some butcher paper we're gonna use a technique that I saw online go ahead and fold one side of two pieces of butcher paper take the top piece fold it over go ahead and lock in those two pieces and fold down on the crease to get these pieces to lock in place. Now go ahead and take that remaining baking fat and you want to use about two spoonfuls, put it down on the butcher paper and just spread that out till you have about the size of your ribs. We want this bacon fat to cover about the same surface area as your ribs will have. This is going to help add in a little bit of bacon fat on the underside or technically the top side of your ribs but go ahead and then pour on some of that smoked bacon fat now if you've never used butcher paper before the technique here is to go ahead and fold behind the ribs over on top of it fold in your ends like you would a burrito push down on those creases and then we want this to fold over at least twice so then that way the meat is facing up again. And then with that very end piece, go ahead and fold it over. And then fold your ribs over just one more time so then that way they are meat side down on top of the last crease. Go 
ahead and throw your ribs either back on the smoker or in the oven and get these ribs up to 201. Now these ribs turned out delicious. The citrus beer and all of this smoked rendered bacon tallow shines through. As we unwrap this from the butcher paper, this butcher paper is just drenched in bacon grease, but it doesn't penetrate the ribs to the point where it's overpowering and unbearable. These ribs are still very pliable. They hold together, so they have a nice thick meaty bite to them into these ribs. It's not like the 321 method where they are just absolutely falling apart. But otherwise, just the look of these things, that bacon tallow makes these things glisten, you guys. It has an amazing look to it, a great taste. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.